um, I actually have a lot of stuff to do today and I am procrastinating like crazy. So for those of you that don't know, which is probably everyone, <laughs> I make a monthly playlist on my Spotify. You can find me on there at Callie Glenn. I will leave a link in the description to my October playlist. Um, a lot of the times it's like me finding new music and adding it to the playlist. Sometimes I'll add seasonal stuff like on my October playlist. I like to have like the Monster Mash and Love Potion number no. nine and just some, they're not spooky songs whatsoever, but just kind of like Halloween songs. But I also include obviously like current hits of the month as well as just like my favorite music. Um, recently, like this, the second half of this year, like July through now, a lot of the same songs have been on like every single playlist, which is, I've been trying really, really hard to not do that, but I've just honestly been listening to the same songs over and over and over again. Every single month I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna put Controlla on the playlist and then I won't when I first create it and then it's like <laughs> four days later I have to listen to the song again or whatever so it ends up going on the playlist and I'm trying really, really hard not to be so repetitive but I can't help it. It's what I like. It's, um, I personally create my playlist around like feelings or like moods that I kind of want to be in and for me that's kind of like an entire month is kind of a mood like I associate like chilling out with the month of October and kind of just like the fall season in general let me go into my playlist oops um okay so the first like five songs on the playlist are all from Chance I really, really like Chance. He, his music is good and I like what he stands for as a person as well. You know, he's not signed any labels and he's very like vocal about that. Um, and despite giving his music away for free and not being associated with a label, he's so successful. And I feel like it's a true story of someone who is passionate and good at what they do and he's just succeeding in that sort of way and I really 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 appreciate all that he stands for as well as his music so it's cool break on here I have too good and feel no ways and then it's a DJ Khaled song but for free I really like that um right now like I'm just like really really into Drake and I feel like everyone kind of is but I just can't stop playing his music and I'm always I've always been that way like I still I have some of his older stuff on here too it's not like um, I just really, really like Drake I don't know Mac Miller came out with his new album um, and I really like it I have been a fan of Mac Miller since I was in high school um, like Kool-Aid and frozen pizza. My favorite part by Mac Miller featuring Ariana Grande has this great just like, I just kind of do this when I listen to it, you know? Just kind of, ooh. And that I kind of associate, that doesn't make any sense probably, but I don't know. It takes My Body Higher by Shafi and Lincoln Jesser. And so that was like a little clip of it. And again, it just kind of has that chilled vibe that's not like too intense. And I can easily like sit on my couch and like read a book or drink a cup of coffee or both and listen to the music and just kind of have like a nice fall night. I Don't Need Ya by, I'm guessing it's pronounced Jutes, but I'm honestly not sure. I really, really like this song. I totally forgot about the 1975 for a minute, which is so crazy because I really, really do like the band a lot. And um, so they haven't been on any of my playlists for a few months. And then just the other day, I think I was actually listening to the radio and one of their songs came on and I was like, oh my God, the 1975. Why have I not been listening to them? Um, and so 
<laughs> I immediately like put some of my favorite songs by them on here. Um, really any of their songs could be listed as my favorite song. I just, I really like the band. I don't know. Cold Plays, Him for the Weekend. I first heard it and I was like, I don't care. I saw like the music video for it too. And again, I was like, I don't really care about this song at all. And then it was just another day. I happened to hear it and I was like, man, I actually really do like this song. And so now it's, it's kind of almost like my song of the month. Like I've listened to that song so many times. It's kind of unbelievable. The more Drake I've got from time, um, featuring Janae Aiko. I really like that song. What can I say? Um, I've got Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey, of course, because just, oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> I love the song. Everybody loves the song. It's a good song. Um, For You by Black Bear. I really like that song. Born by Sam Guthro featuring Atlas and I really really like it that was on that was a song on my discover weekly and I was like oh ooh, and I just really really liked it I feel like most of the songs that I have on my playlist like you can do the same thing to like it's got there's something just very similar about every single song that I have on here like I just played so many different songs and they're all very different but there's just something there's like this common thread between them and I think that's just like the overall feeling that I kind of go for. I like a lot of music from a lot of different generations and a lot of different genres but for the most part my Spotify playlists all kind of live within the sort of I guess like rap, hip-hop, pop Music is just one of those things that I'm obviously like very passionate about and although I don't make music or you know, I don't I don't like singing or play any instruments except for the clarinet, <laughs> shout out all district, I connect so deeply with music um, and I just really really enjoy it and it's something that especially with like the southern rock and the oldies and like that kind of like type of music I've really connected with my dad over and um, yeah I just feel like music is something that people like really really can connect to and then with music people can connect to each other as well it's like when I found out that I think it was like Bumble or Tinder or both we're going to partner with I think Spotify to match people by their music taste I was like that's the best idea ever like but no um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that, you know, maybe you've heard about a new song that you want to like check out or whatever. Again, I'll link my Spotify in the description. I encourage you to go look at like all of my playlists, not just my October one. Um, and I guess keep a lookout for the November one, which will be coming in 15 days. <laughs> so, um, I have to get back to work to cleaning my house and finally doing my um, paper, but I will chat with you all tomorrow. Um, yeah. Bye. <laughs>